Hello, racing enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of bold statements and controversial opinions as McLaren CEO Zach Brown raises eyebrows by excluding Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen in his world's greatest discussion. Join us as we dissect Brown's remarks, explore the criteria for greatness, and unravel the potential impact on the F1 community. Let's rev up the engines and explore this intriguing revelation. In a recent interview, Zach Brown, the CEO of McLaren, stirred the pot by omitting Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen from his discussion on the world's greatest drivers. This exclusion has sparked debates and discussions about the criteria Brown used to make this controversial statement. Stay with us as we unpack Zach Brown's bold exclusion and explore the dynamics of the world's greatest debate in Formula One. McLaren CEO Zach Brown believes they have the world's greatest driver lineup with Lando Norris and Oscar Piastri, thus overlooking the dominant forces of the past decade, Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen. A huge F1 2024 campaign looms for McLaren, as they look to continue building on their momentum generated through a remarkable 2023 surge. With nine podiums claimed, plus a sprint victory via Oscar Piastri in Qatar, McLaren look poised to return to the victory scene, with Brown believing they have the best two drivers for that job. Verstappen laid down a dauntingly high benchmark though in 2023, winning 19 of the 22 Grand Prix as he and Red Bull go into the new campaign as clear favourites for further title glory, Verstappen looking for a fourth title in a row, having taken over from Hamilton as the dominant F1 force. But, with Norris and Piastri, Brown believes McLaren has the best lineup for the job of taking McLaren back to F1 Summit. McLaren has work to do though to ensure that their exciting young driver pairing remains in place long term, with Norris's contract up at the end of 2025. Piastri signed an extension during his rookie 2023 campaign to keep him at McLaren until the end of 2026. Brown is well aware that Norris is hot property, a driver who has been regularly linked with a future Red Bull move, the team openly admitting they're monitoring his situation, but Brown is confident that Norris remains all in with the vision of returning McLaren to title winning ways. We do have a little bit more runway with both but certainly, he's Norris hot property, if you like, said Brown. So, we'd like to lock him down sooner rather than later. I think he's very much enjoying his time at McLaren, the dream is to win races and a world championship together and I think Lando's all in for achieving that with us. And Brown firmly believes that McLaren has the assets to make that dream a reality, as alongside that confidence in their drivers, he confirmed the team is now operating at a profit while also at the ceiling of F1's budget cap. The resources we have now are exactly where we need to be, Brown declared. We're a profitable racing team, which is great. We run at the cap and resources will not hold us back from achieving anything that we need to achieve, drivers included. Norris will be out to finally pick up a first victory during F1 2024, having now tied Nick Heidfeld for most podiums without a win with 13. Greatness is subjective, and both drivers have shaped the modern era of Formula One. Zach Brown's decision to exclude Hamilton and Verstappen from the world's greatest conversation has sparked intense discussions. Stay tuned as we navigate through the nuances of greatness in Formula One and witness how this exclusion influences the ongoing narrative. If you're as captivated by the drama as we are, don't forget to subscribe for more exclusive updates from the world of Grand Prix racing. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, see you in the next video.